so we can finally put it to rest now i do think that um let me let me get me make it specifically clear i did a video on steve mclaren um basically six days ago actually six days ago <clears throat> i did the video on steve mclaren um one in one of the you know it's a small series in the reggae boys head coach update but so we can now put it to rest we don't need to speculate anymore because from my sources which i strongly and confidently believe in would have informed me officially that steve mclaren he's the coach or he's the person who got the nut yes steve bruce was in the mix yes um what's his name um miguel cole was in the mix yes they contacted they had conversations with with um oligon and solskjaer so all the names that you'd have seen thrown in the in the in the mixture yes they were a part of it dwight york as well now only a few made it to the shortlist only a few made it to the shortlist but apparently steve mclaren is the one that the jff has given the nod said you will take the helm of the reggae boys new head coach i think i saw I think I saw other persons doing video. I didn't know. But I did the video. Um, today what? Today is uh, Wednesday. I did the video last week, Thursday. Let me see if I can make it specific. Let me get it exactly when I did the video. Um, July the 24th, actually. I did it July the 24th. I don't know if you can see it here. So. Uh, good. I put it on the screen. See there? Steve McLaren. I did the video. <laughs> and in the comment section, the amount of people said, Why? Because you know, I always get cussing unnecessarily. But I say, I say, I go still. That's just a part of it. Um, that's just a part of it. But, anyways. What does McLaren have to offer? These are the questions. How will he manage him, um, specifically the certain situations? Let me just um, give us a little bit of details. I do think that a lot of main, main, mainstream, media will, mainstream media outlets will be running with the story quite soon. Um, manager, Manchester United um, coach Steve McLaren is reported a top contender to become the next manager of the Jamaican national team. Well, I'm saying no. Um, he is... He is officially the front runner, and I said, if the selection is done, no. Well, me already said, didn't give him a nod. So technically, yes, he's no, he's off, he's the head coach. You know, officially confirmed yet by Jeff. You know, I found him. Can you imagine me there? So I do a video on it, and I said, you know what? Just, just find him. But anyway, the decision, um, apparently, has already been made. Uh, McLean made his return to United in 2022 after 21 years. He joined Eric Ten Hag backroom staff, having previously left Old Trafford in 2001 to take his first managerial position at Middlesbrough after spending three seasons as assistant to Sir Alex Ferguson. Um, the 2022-2023 season was a good one for Ten Hag and his assistant, including McLaren. United ended a six-year drought to win Carba Cup and also qualified for the Champions League. Last term was over a disappointing campaign for the Red Devils as they finished in eighth position in the Premier League. United's poor performance and results left the future of Ten Hag and his coaching on un coaches uncertain. But after an end of season review, club boss decided to stick with the Dutchman. However, not everyone came out and sketched uh, and skated. Um, United have since parted ways with a number of coaches, including uh, Mitchell van der van der Gaard, Van de Gaag, Ben McCarthy, and Richard Artis. The three were replaced by René Kake, Ruud Van Nistelrooy, and Angele Ten, Roll Lahr. Oh, these are some Dutch names. Oh, The United also brought in Andre um, Jorgensen as a set-piece coach. A recent report covered by the People's Persons, Re -re -re, um, person re -re relied on admit ongoing shake-up in becoming the, par department, the coaching department. McLaren feels like he has been pushed down the pecking order and as a result, he is considering quitting. It was stated that McLaren is ready to leave his post voluntarily before he is sacked. 
And according to journalist Alan Nixon, a possible ex a next destination has emerged for the 63-year-old. Nixon believes via his Patreon that McLaren is the first choice candidate to become the new Jamaican national team boss. McLaren is in a position to take over the reins of the job offer if the job offer becomes concrete. To land the role, McLaren will come up against former United Steve Bruce, defender Steve Bruce, who is also in the running to become the manager of the Reggae Boys. And I did report it that he, um, he's one of the names that um, um, stood out as well. Um, but Miguel Coley was most definitely a part of the conversation. Will they still um, consider Miguel Coley as an assistant? I don't know. It would be interesting to see that. Um, or would my say... Um, um, what is it? the assistant coach? Might see or oh, the Heckman Merrin Garden still remain as the assistant coach. Um, the land roll, uh, it's believed that talks have already been held between J Bruce and Jamaica over potential replacing Himeral Grimson, who resigned after his side exit from the Copa America, where they failed to win a match. All right, so me give you guys some context surrounding, um, the potential new manager, should I say, the new manager. It's quite an interesting one. Um, at Manchester United, as I said, what is his philosophy? I'm not sure what is his philosophy because most of it, that work that I've seen, he has, he has done so far, but I've been the assistant role to Tenag. So I can't definitely say that he will go, he's going to come with this brand of football, he's going to play this style of football. I do think that most of the support base did get highly excited our own um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer thing is the branding um, aspect. But Steve Bruce um, came in and they really, based on what I heard, they really liked Steve Bruce. But just some minor stuff why they kind of didn't tip Steve Bruce over the line. So Steve McLaren is the one who got the nod. And it's quite an interesting one. It's quite an interesting one. But we will see how this one materialized. You know them said, start, I started a new, um, the first week of August, the the go um announce it, which we will I think tomorrow is the first of August. So I assume that we might see the announcement between now and next but not now, between tomorrow and next week, Wednesday, we might see the announcement. Um from what I will I, I was told, you already get the contract. You already review the contract. <laughs> so definitely things are move fast, things are move rapid, and JFF seems to be moving according to the date that they sit, uh, they, they have stated that and um, they are stated that um in the first week of august so it's an interesting one very very interesting one people um tell us what you think people smash the like button hit the subscribe button uh, see if the camera camera gone gone for a reason anyways big up on yourself people mg sports tv glad to have this discussion i'll see you guys again until next time god bless we're out you know what i mean if you sit start up my light big up people like share subscribe or oh, link in the comment section Make sure so no buy us a coffee. We'll really appreciate it. Big up MG Sports TV Road. God bless.